Well, Millet, great to have you with us. First of all, how pleased are you to be a villain? Yeah, I'm over the moon, to be honest. Um, when the deal sort of came about, the interest, uh, and I found out it was, it moved quite quickly, even though it may not seem it, but um, particularly maybe the last few days. But yeah, it's, it's moved very quickly and uh, I'm thrilled to be at, um, I'm thrilled to be here right now. And what persuaded you to choose Aston Villa as your, your new destination? Um, to be honest, you know, I've <laughs> told this many a time to, to people. Um, my first experience of this place where we're sat is, uh, I've got very fond memories. Um, it's probably, you know, everyone talks about the big stadiums in the country and uh, having played there and seen them. Um, but this was the one, the one place that sort of blew me away because I didn't really know what to expect. Um, seeing the, the structure of the building, how enormous it is, um, from the dressing rooms to the tunnel, to coming out here and playing on such a wonderful pitch. It, uh, you know, it stuck with me and it resonated and that was you know, three, three years ago. And uh, you know, to have the opportunity to come, come here and uh, hopefully play here week in, week out, um, is, for me, is, uh, brings a lot of excitement. Obviously leaving Crystal Palace after five years must have been a difficult decision, but is your overriding emotion um, excitement? Without a doubt. Um, you mentioned that there yeah, it was, obviously, having given uh, five years of my time for the football club and you know went through a lot of things with them. Um, the change is one now that is exciting. Um, you know, I know it's going to be a challenge, but one that I'm one that I'm up for and one that I hope that uh, everyone around me is going to be up for as well. And what have your conversations been like with Roberto Di Matteo? Um, they've been productive, uh, not a lot of them, but we've spoken a few times um, and yeah, they've been, you know, it's been, it's been quite productive. We've spoken face to face over the phone and uh, I'm just really looking forward to getting out there and helping out. Um, when given the opportunity and uh, it, uh, you know, I was at the game, it's supposed to be a secret, but I think it wasn't <laughs> um, on Tuesday and I seen the boys put in a proper shift and uh, I seen the atmosphere generated by the fans, which was great to see. It just gets you itching and ready to go. Um, so it's, uh, you know, like I said, it, I'm, I'm really looking forward to that. And to a drop from the Premier League to the Championship, you must be confident this is a club on the up. Well, you know, I've got my own opinions on where I think this club should be and uh, you know, it's right up there. And uh, if I can do something to help that, along with everybody else around me, teammates, management, staff, you know, I think uh, you, you've seen what this place, I'm sure you can all, you've all seen what this place can be like uh, once it gets going. and. I hope that uh, that happens with my time here and you know sooner rather than later. You've experienced promotion with Palace, I think 2012-13. Yeah. What qualities do you need as a team and as individuals within that team to achieve that kind of thing? How much time you got? <laughs> uh, no, I think uh, the one thing that, that sticks out um, probably is a togetherness. Um, you know, and I talk about togetherness from a, not only from a players and a team point of view, but it's togetherness as a football club, togetherness from management level, staff, fans, players, you need to have that connection and that togetherness and uh, it is an old, it is a long season, the championship and it's, uh, it's definitely a marathon, not a sprint. So. You have to ride the waves, the good and the bad, and uh, if you have that togetherness and that, I think it's just that clarity of, of where you see yourself and what you're trying to do and how you're going to get that is, uh, is also key and, uh, you know, that's why coming here is, uh, I already get a sense that, that, it, that, that that's happening and, uh, you know, if I'm able to add to that and, 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 and and do do my thing and, and do what I do and, and I'm hoping that um, 
you know, what you mentioned can happen, but like I said, we're still a long way away. If I could talk to you about leadership, we've obviously signed Tommy Elphick, who was captain of Bournemouth. We've signed Ross McCormack, who was um, captain of Fulham. Obviously yourself, captain of Australia, and with captain of Crystal Palace. What's your understanding of being a leader in the dressing room and on the pitch, and how important is that? Obviously the importance is significant. Uh, we'll start with that. Um, you know, it's, 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 there's players in any football environment that look that look up to certain people and certain individuals and certain types of characters and uh, you just want to try and make that as positive as you can um, and you know I've been put in those positions before and I can't give you a an answer on how it gets done or why not but you know I like to think my personality uh, it's more actions rather than words a lot of the time and uh, you know, people are drawn to that and, you know, I'm, I've had a chat to some of the boys already and, you know, like I said, really looking forward to getting to working with them and, and, and giving my little bit of input and uh, bringing my experience uh, of, of, of the championship and of football um, to some of the boys and, uh, you know, hopefully we can build a, a connection and, and, you know, it takes us, it takes us all the way to the top. You're currently waiting for your, your documents to come through. Um, how frustrating is it to be waiting to play? You must, like you said before, you must be itching to get out there. Yeah, it's not, look, it's, it's something that has to happen, unfortunately. I'm from Australia where you need to, you know, on an Australian passport where, you, where this needs to happen. And uh, everyone's aware of it. And, you know, uh, from both parties, I think it's, you know, my, I wouldn't say it's fr frustration because I'm not frustrated because I, I do want to go out and help and everyone understands that and I'm sure everyone wants me to do that but um, these things don't always take as quick, they can't just happen. Um, but listen, I'm, I'm here now and uh, like I said, I, if, 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 if I'm not involved I'll be definitely around the boys and, and, and uh, doing my, my part. Um, you know, not on the field but away from them and, and hopefully in and around them and getting a good feel of what it's like and getting to know them more importantly I think getting to know um, everybody not only players but staff and meeting you guys as well for the first time it's nice to put you know names to faces and things like that so that's going to take a little bit of time but um, you know I'm going to be most comfortable when I'm out there behind uh, doing my thing that's for sure. Final two questions for the fans is there anything you can promise them from a personal perspective um, when you're out there on the pitch? I'll promise that I'll give you my 100% hundred, hundred every single game, every single day I come to work. Um, as far as any other promises, that's all I can give. Um, that's my, you know, I've, that's all I know really. Um, you know, 100%, 110%, whenever you can. Um, you don't know when it's going to be your last day of football and you don't know when it's going to be your last day at work so uh, if you always treat it like that then it's done all right for me for now and uh, I'll continue to do that. Obviously they're desperate for a return to the Premier League, do you have a message for them along those lines? I think, obviously I, think, I believe that the football club should be in the Premier League, we need to get ourselves back up there, um, it ain't going to be easy. We ain't going to be able to do it on our own. We're going to need each and every one of you um, getting behind the boys, supporting them, um, creating a real fortress that we know that Villa Park can be. Um, and hopefully with that, you know, a real atmosphere and, uh, you know, that'll sometimes suck the goal, uh, suck the ball into the goal at the whole end or wherever it may be. But, um, you know, like I said, it's going, to be a, it's going to be a long journey, but one we can hopefully achieve something special together.